before the video starts, I'm going to announce the winner of the Homebrew News Series name contest. I decided to go for a simple one suggested by Crazy Gamer. The name is Brew News. Make sure you check out Crazy Gamer's channel, which is linked below. Hello everyone, my name is Jack Sorrell, and today I'm going to show you how to play Wii games online after the Nintendo Wi Fi connection shutdown. As you know, Nintendo shut down the Nintendo Wi Fi connection, also known as WFC, but now through Homebrew we can get it back using a different service called WiimFi. This tutorial works on the Wii and the virtual Wii in the Wii U, and like I said, Homebrew is required. So if you don't have Homebrew, you can watch the videos I have linked below showing you how to Homebrew the Wii. And if you have a Wii U, you must homebrew your Wii U first and then homebrew the virtual Wii. I also have videos for that below. Now let's get started. There are two versions of the tool we're going to use. One for Wii game discs and the other for Wii ISOs. If you load your Wii games from a USB ISO loader, choose WiimFi Patcher. You only have to follow the parts of the video which apply to your Wii. I'll put a marker on screen so you know when to start listening. Let's start with the disc version. Then after that, we'll do the version for ISOs. For the first step, click the link below labeled disc. Then extract the folder to your desktop. Open your Wii or Wii U SD card, then install the Homebrew app like this. That's all you have to do for the disk version, so now let's move on to the version for ISO files. Click the link below named ISO, then download the WiimFi Patcher program from the website. Then extract the folder to your desktop. Open the folder, then open the other folder which has the name of your operating system on it. Move the Wii ISO which you want to play online with to the folder you just opened. Then run the patch WiimFi bat file. This program makes a copy of the ISO file which you move to the folder. It then modifies the copy so when you play online it doesn't try to connect to Nintendo's servers. Instead, it will connect to WiimFi. This process might take some time if you're using a mechanical hard drive in your computer. When it's finished, go into this folder and you'll find the modified ISO. Next, open WBFS Manager and delete the old ISO from the USB drive. Then copy the modified ISO to the USB drive. This will take some time. Now, let's go over to the Wii. First of all, let's test the disc version. Instead of opening the game from the Wii menu, you have to open the Homebrew channel and run the Auto WiimFi Patcher app.
after the game loads, it should be connected to WeamFi. Just open the game's online features and it should connect. I'm using Brawl, so I'm going to try playing online. If you've been waiting for a while and no one has joined the game, you should check the status of WimFi on their website. The server could be down, or most likely, there isn't anyone else online at the moment. The website will show how many players are online. You can see, we are connected to WimFi, but there's just no one online right now. So now, let's try the ISO version and try playing Mario Kart online. There's always people playing Mario Kart. For the ISO version, all you have to do is open the USB loader and run the game, and you should be connected to WeamFi. If you're going to be playing Mario Kart Wii online, there's one thing you have to keep in mind when connecting for the first time. When you connect to WeamFi in Mario Kart for the first time, you will get this error message. Why do you get this error message? Well, if you check the WeamFi website, you'll see that it takes 7 days for your console to be registered in Mario Kart Wii. The reason you have to wait 7 days is that Mario Kart Wii always has lots of players online, and because it's popular, it's likely that people will try using hacks online. This 7 day waiting list is inconvenient at worst, but for a hacker, they would have to wait 7 days every time they got banned if they tried using a VPN, so this is a very good thing for us. So let's go over to the second Wii, which is already registered with WeamFi on Mario Kart Wii.
you can see it works exactly like the old Nintendo Wi-Fi connection. Now that you've got it working, you can enjoy playing online. Well, that's all for today. My name's Jack Sorrell, and I'll see you next Sunday with a brand new video. If you have an idea for a future video, leave it in the comment section below, and I'll feature your channel in the video if your idea gets chosen.